Hello, I'm Kurt Collada, founder and editor-in-chief of Hardcore Gaming 101, a website focused on retro and obscure video games. Today I'm here to talk to you about my latest project, HG101 Presents Japanese Video Game Obscurities. Now, I've published about a dozen books at HG101, although this one is a little bit different. For starters, unlike the other books, which all draw material that's already been published on the site, this one is 100% original writing. So even if you've read the site from front to back, you'll definitely find something new here, in addition to some other cool stuff that's been featured there too. This book also gets the benefit of professional graphic designers, as well as being published as a hardcover. So once you get it in your hands, it will definitely look and feel pretty cool. Now, in selecting the games in my book, I wanted to make sure to include a wide variety of titles, covering all kinds of genres and platforms. For example, games like Sakura Wars and Tokyo Mechi Memorial, which were extremely popular in Japan, but almost none of them were released here, so the phenomenon never came over. Then again, there's also historically important titles like Falcom Xanadu, which is one of the best-selling Japanese PC titles of all time, or the Protopio Serum Murder Case, which was designed by the creator of Dragon Quest and basically created the entire Japanese adventure game genre. I also wanted to pick up some interesting computer role-playing games. Like one of them over here I have is Last Armageddon, where you control a band of monsters that are fighting off against aliens from outer space. Or, Gigan no Maseki, featuring some gorgeous illustrations here by sci-fi artist Naoyuki Kato. Bizarre shoot-em-ups, like Chowiniki, filled with muscle men and all sorts of strange faces, it's completely inexplicable. Or Muchi Muchi Pork, developed by Cave, the legendary arcade developer, where you wage war against an evil pig army. Unique titles like Linda Cube, which is sort of a violent anime take on Noah's Ark, or Moon, a parody of Japanese role-playing games. Now, most of the games I've picked here have, have never been released outside of Japan. A few have received some contemporary re-releases here and there. I've had other entries published in America or Europe, but all of them have something remarkable about them in some way. So going from front to cover, you'll learn a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, thank you for checking this out. I do hope you'll consider pledging, and thank you for your support.